My next guests have opened up their lives in an extraordinary video diary, charting their struggles to start a family. Hannah and Louis Vaughan Jones are about to embark on a ninth round, yeah, ninth round of IVF. But as part of National Fertility Awareness Week, they're sharing their story to help other couples who are also trying to conceive. Well, Hannah and Louis join me now. It's so honest. It's incredible. It really is. And it's at times, you know, you, I mean, I was in tears watching it. I yeah, think me it's. Too. I, I know, I've got, <laughs> bet you were, I bet you were. So, so tough for both of you. But your relationship is stronger, you were yeah. saying, through all of this? Yeah, it's remarkable. I mean, so many people suffer because it does take over your life, so your relationship inevitably kind of is tested. Of course, um, yeah. And fortunately for us, I mean, we've always said that whatever happens, we're each other's family, and right. that's the most important thing. So um, we've seen each other at our worst mm. states, yeah. in our worst yeah. states, and in our best states as well, because yeah. there's something really... Um, rewarding, I think, about standing by someone and feeling like you're going through something that's hellish, mm. but you're still by each other's side. Exactly, you're still yeah. there. You're, you're yeah. still there. Really interesting as well watching that because a lot of men don't talk about this. Mm. Yeah, they really don't. Yeah, it's something that when we, obviously, like most people, we didn't know anything <laughs> about yeah. IVF when we first, you know, started or you know all those years ago, and I hadn't heard anyone really talking about it, and I hadn't heard any men talk about it right. at all. And so when we decided to record it in, in the videos, I definitely wanted to be part of it, just yeah. because not only you don't hear men, but you don't really hear the story uh, whilst it's ongoing and whilst it doesn't work. You know, we read lots yeah. of stories about couples who oh, my miracle Sorry. IVF twins, and which is fantastic. But, you know, that's not the reality for lots of people. And we didn't hear the story mm. being told when it, you don't know what the outcome is. And, yeah, and certainly the man's, the man's role in it all as well is just mm. something that, was, for some reason, is just silent. But eight times you've gone through this, spent yes. a fortune, yes. obviously, but, you know, putting that aside, because actually, emotionally and physically, what, you've, what you have actually gone through. Yeah. Um, is, I mean, you're going to try again? Yeah. You are going to yeah. try again? So, yeah, we're kind of, we're nearing the end of the line, really, for okay. us, just in financially, um, emotionally, physically. Um, you know, we want to have a family, and so if it doesn't work this way, then we will uh, absolutely look at other ways and adoption and oh, things like course. that. Yeah. But um, we still think that because we have what's been diagnosed in a way as unexplained infertility... So they don't know. That's the thing. There's, there's, there's lots they of factors. Yeah. Everyone has lots of different sure. um, factors at play, and it's the same for us, but there's no specific kind of this isn't going to work mm. um, answer from anyone yet. So no. we still think that there's a chance that we could, and we're both... We're, we turn 38 next March and so we thought well let's just try and see where we get to by then um, and then after that perhaps make a different plan. Yeah. And it's really difficult to draw a line under it because oh, it you know, no one has told us any reason why it can't work mm. um, but at it's the same so time. so unlucky, yeah. so unlucky. I mean, but it's funny you say unlucky but I you know lots of people say that to me as well on social yeah. media and they're like sure. you're so unlucky and I feel so lucky in life. I feel I have a career that I love, I have a a husband who I adore, I have a dog that I love. <laughs> you know, and very important, very important. Very, very there's important. There's lots of yeah. things that I just think that we're in, we know we're incredibly lucky. Sure. Financially as well, because, you know, we work really, really hard in order to pay for this because we've prioritised it, but some people just aren't in that position. No, that's so very true. I'm lucky in that sense. And also, this is something I know both of you are campaigning for, yeah. that everybody should have, it should be a level playing field. Right. Because at the moment, it depends where you live, doesn't it? It's a bit of a, an IVF lottery. Right. It depends on, lottery. Depends yeah. on where you live, it depends on your age, it depends on your, circum your individual circumstances. There's a huge amount of rationing that's going on in the NHS as far as IVF is concerned at the moment. Yeah. And the Fertility Network UK is an amazing charity and organisation and support network. They are campaigning at the moment to try and make sure that everyone gets at least three rounds of IVF on the NHS, which yeah. is just very, very rare for anyone to actually get that at the moment. Um, so, so that's the recommended... The, the Scream for mission. IVF campaign, everyone go and sign that. No, that that's, a, that's a brilliant <laughs> idea, it really is, because, you, you know, you've, you've gone through it and you realise that, yes, OK, you, you can, to a, a certain extent, afford it. It's obviously impacted yeah. on your life, of course it has. We've had a huge amount of family support. Yeah, yeah. which is great as well, which yeah. is really, really good. You're amazing because you're so... Both of you are so still so optimistic. Yeah. You've not yeah. been beaten down by this, you know, especially, I mean, you miscarried and everything. You, you had that moment of yeah. feeling that you were pregnant and you know what it's like, you must have in your head imagined... Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. like it. and, it's yeah. the, and there's that grief for what's not going to happen. This year has been a, from the super, super highs of you know New Year's Eve and then knowing, oh. well, I'm still pregnant, this is great, and then finding out uh, that we were having to have, we would have to have a, a DNC, which is the procedure mm. to sort of to remove the the, 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 the products of 
pregnant of conception, I think they oh, call it. This God, that's horrible, disgraceful names that they call it. I know, that's horrible. It should be baby. Exactly, you know, yeah. Always. And, uh, you know, we, you, we just managed to stay strong just by always focusing on all the other things in our life as well yeah. that we're really proud of and, and we're, we know we're really lucky for. So it is all consuming mm. in lots yeah. of ways, but I think once you, especially when you're as far down the line as we are, but it's, we you know, we, we're quite experienced, unfortunately. We don't want to be experienced <laughs> yeah. in this, but, you know, you still watch the... You know, especially for me, having to watch Hannah go through, you know, all the hormones, all the injections, yeah. all the highs when the, the news is good, and then the crushing, emptying, kind of hollowing out lows. Yeah. And, you know, each new round we go into, I know I'm going to have to watch Hannah go through that yet again. And, it's and you're really going through difficult. it as well. You're going through it too. That's the thing. What an yeah. amazing relationship you've got, though. It's absolutely remarkable. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank you. For coming in and us. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Really, Thanks, really sorry. good luck. I would love to see you back on this show coming back. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be the best? The absolute best. Thank you so, so thank much. You. And there's loads of fertility information and advice on our website. And do make sure you check out that campaign as well.